Welcome back to Crawl Space Encounters. Got ourselves another one here, so check this out. This house is for sale. It's a newer home. Uh, it's a, what a beautiful day it is. Hey, thank you guys so much uh, for hanging tight, man. Almost 700 subscribers. The channel's kind of moving pretty good, so thank you so much. But you guys don't want to hear me talk. <laughs> Let's get right up into this crawl space and let you guys decide what's up with this crawl space. I'll see you down there. All right, well, let's check her out. All right. Oh, this is a block foundation. I like this. We usually typically see these bricks. I see my other videos, everything is brick, but I like these blocks, a little added protection. All right, so, well, you gotta love it when the homeowner tell you that they win this on the house. The house should be in good shape. It's brand new, and I've been down there. I'm like, I'm not here to critique, I'm just here to document. Anyway, all right, so I see water stains already. Um, you know, for a while I thought that because, here, let me get the spider web off the lens, because it was a block foundation and no water was actually gonna get in when it rains. And actually, that is not true. Look at that. That's like a little, a little creek. It comes right in to the bottom of the hook at the whole side. It's crazy. Put this plastic back. I'll fix that all up real good. So I give these houses just a quick little run run. So you guys can get it. But my favorite right here, look at that. A water heater in the crawl space. <laughs> I wish the builders would do something different with this. You can see that there was like a serious water line down here. I don't know if this water came from a, the bust of water uh, heater at one time, but you can see how so that's the top of the, the front of the house, which is also the top of the hill. So by the looks of the foundation, this is all water intrusion coming in from that front. Unfortunately, that's already a problem. And if you can't tell, let me grab my flashlight real quick. All this insulation falling down. Yeah, I guarantee you that's from all those snake buddies. You know, I know the, a lot of insulation companies don't put enough of those hangers, which are these thingies right here. They should be putting more of that. See, there's one there. And I don't see another one. But uh, once these snakes get up on here, <laughs> the weight of these guys just knock this down like it's nothing. See that right there? That's snake poop. Old snake poop. Yeah, I'm, I try to just use my camera light to uh, to get me around, but uh, not the snake I saw the other day it was really freaking big. And <laughs> I was scared the crap out of me. It was a black snake. Um, but still, I was in a really narrow, shallow crawl space. And, uh, that's some gun. Looks like I just turned the corner. So water definitely comes in when it rains. That's... So that is already a problem. And you can see, look at all the insulation. So he's down here, she's down here. Look at this mess they made. This house is, I bet you this house isn't, I don't know, 15 years old. I didn't do any research on it. So appointment kind of came up and I, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna do a video today. It's a beautiful day outside. I feel good. Had some good rest this weekend. Well, that's important. Get ready for some crawling. 
Guys, we almost got the 700 mark on subscribers. Thank you so much for your support and the comments you guys leave. A lot of you guys know what the heck you're talking about when it comes to a lot of construction. And what's really crazy is I get to hear people from all over the nation and their different ideas of how they would do things differently with their construction. Um, you know, I've learned it one way and one way only because I just basically did things in Florida for years. Um, but I hear different things from everybody and that's, that's absolutely fantastic because there's always more than one way to do things. Ugh, they foamed the crap out of, yeah, so what happens is, I guarantee you, look at the foam they put, that's a lot of foam. So when they come build these houses, man, they, they just bust out these giant holes. And they run their pipes and they leave them open. Very unprofessional. Definitely a lot of... Got some fungus growing here. So for... for there, that's why I don't ever take anybody's word. The man's like, this is a new house. I was just down there. So... Let me get the spider web out of here again. These buyers are definitely a uh, young couple. This insulation's all falling down, so super nice. Nervous, you can tell. Definitely some uh, some concerns because as people when people go buy their new home, they're doing all kinds of research to find out. You know what's going on and what they should be aware of. This is a radon pipe, very small. I usually see them, they're usually a lot longer than that. What's this? A five foot radon pipe, usually about 10 feet. So basically, they stick it up underneath this plastic. I can't tell you how much if this freaking works or not, but this is what it is. Um, any air trapped underneath the plastic, they, it helps kind of vent out the crawl space for radon but you can actually go online and look to see if you have high radon levels in the area you live I don't know much about radon so I don't want to get too much into that it's a little snake skin alright so we're going to get to the uh, top of the I'm keeping my flashlight and my other light out I'm sorry if it's bugging you on this video, I'm not too sure. I don't do any editing. I basically show up to the house, tell you what's going on. And you guys are in this raw with me. Alright, so this is the top of the hill. Wow, oh, man. Look at all this insulation falling down. No question about it. I had a good amount of snake activity not a very big crawl space I'm gonna have to say the, the plus here on this one out is um, the HVAC system is not down here look and I know I've got some HVAC guys in the business um, they would prefer to obviously come down here and work on a HVAC system than up in an attic, especially in the summertime. Um, but I personally wouldn't have my HVAC. So if you look at my other videos, I'll list you right there alone hundreds of reasons why. I show, I go right up to the HVAC, show it to you, and if you're okay with how that thing is functioning and working, especially during the summer months when it's hot. There's something wrong with you, man. I don't know. But I do see some water over here. That doesn't look like it was from the... from water intrusion. That's a puddle that's just started happening. I always afraid to look up. See, you kind of wish the best for people, man. Well, here it is. Here we go. Something's already leaking.
You always want to wish the best, man. Only inspectors, and I know some. I don't really talk to too many inspectors. We don't get a good rap. And I don't blame people for not liking inspectors, because I don't like inspectors. I've been uh, burned on previous closings, because I've had some lazy inspectors, and or inspectors who kind of work for realtors a little bit. Lighten up the load. You don't do that. It's not what we're here for. And we're over here to change the world. You know what I would end up doing? I'd just take pictures of the insulation, say, hey, you know, just want to let you know there's insulation leaning down. You know, definitely don't want insulation leaning down, especially on these pipes. They're so freaking fragile to begin with. Some of these pipes, you can just sneeze on them and they bust on you. Trust me, I've just hit my head on one once in a while and I'll get a leak <laughs> I'm like, what? I barely touched you man so obviously we got a problem there with the, the water leak underneath the floor on the subfloor we definitely have some water coming in during times of rain and the reason why I'm saying that this is like not a very good thing is because we actually haven't had rain in a long time and that's that's standing water man so i can't imagine how much water <coughs> excuse me actually comes in uh when it rains but here you go here's another crawl space guys don't forget to hit that like and subscribe i appreciate y'all once again almost 700 subscribers we launched about a year few months ago a lot of videos actually i noticed a lot more <coughs> clicks people viewing this a lot more but they're viewing some of my newer stuff and i go back to my old stuff there's some crawl spaces in there <laughs> i'll tell you what i crawl spaces that i didn't think i was going to make it out or i would probably just say hey you're better off right just burn down the joint but but I've also had some videos of some beautiful encapsulated crawl spaces where they've invested just absolute tens of thousands of dollars in. Anyway, folks, I'll see ya. Be safe. And uh, take care.